Welcome back again, viewers and subscribers. This is still BVI Channel 1, where you get all diluted truth. Talking about Nigerians being victims of Nigeria. Let us go to the street and get the voice on the street. I'll be right back. I'm Kashi from BVI Channel 1. We're on the street to ask few Nigerians how they see the economic situation of this country. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Okay, um, we are from BVI Channel 1. Okay, we want to ask you how do you see the economic situation of this country? Um, this uh, Nigerian economy, this Nigerian economy is uh, unbearable. It's something that uh, disabled people or physical challenge or politic person cannot even associate with because they did not have any any plan for this three category of people. Okay. Could you imagine of a person in a physical challenge, a graduate driving KK, and this uh, problem of first caste? So, Nigeria is not for physical challenge people, physical uh, paralytic people, not even people that is crawling on the, on the ground. So, okay, sir, so are you a physical? Do you have any physical challenge? Uh, I'm a physical challenge. Okay. So okay. I'm the I'm a graduate also. Wow. You're a graduate? Yes, first class in the arts. Wow. First class? Yes. Jesus, honestly, yeah. Honest no no. Are, are you serious? <laughs> and you are driving keke? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. It's not it's not something I didn't I didn't carry the the first class or anything on my head. I know the country is something else. I mellow myself down to at least. Oh Even the guy I'm driving, as you can see, as you can video the thing too well, you will see that the keke is not even too strong to feed people. I mean, somebody that is have the spirit of giving people as in helping those so that I can feed. So I have, I have vision. I'm going somewhere. So. I did not see myself as a disabled, disabled, not even a physical challenge, but I'm just seeing it because you cannot cheat nature. So I just managed it, do what the one that I'm supposed to do, leave the rest to God. So, okay, sir, um, have you benefited anything from Nigeria ever since you were born? Uh, <laughs> for where? Where will I start? Nigeria is not a member of. Member of helping physical challenge like i said it before i did not even benefit anything from them even this one i'm driving is by my by the help of people so it's not nigeria nigeria they did not even southeast they did not even regard disabled in the southeast as anything well, I don't know too much very bad. African them one that I face it. Ike, Ike, Afia, where if Ike go to? Nothing. I wonder one that people are dying in hunger. I go near one them So I can go to Ike Kuna. Okay, thank you, sir. Sir, have you benefited anything from this government from Nigeria since I do more? What do you benefit as a Nigerian? Uh, I'm a. If you see me, I'm a challenge person. So I'm a physically challenged person. I won't be anything benefit for Nigeria. All always individual. Can you imagine disabled, disabled Nigerians going out to fend for themselves in this manner? Yet the wicked, insensitive government. The only thing they could do is to add to their misery and frustration in the name of wealth subsidy. Not as if to say we are saying, oh, give fuel subsidy. No, because that fuel subsidy itself is a scam. But this one is to rob Peter to pay Paul. Robbing Peter is Nigerians. To pay Paul is to politicians. Because the money they are claim, they claim they are saving from subsidy. Where is it? Has it gone into setting up refineries and getting it to work beforehand? Has it? If they have done that, Nigerians will not be crying. 
things will not be this difficult. Prices will not hit rocket high. Are we producing anything? Nothing. We are importing everything. Because we can't produce. There is no electricity. Yet we have natural gas. In another state, you have abundance of it. We have crude oil in abundance. We have so many resources in abundance. Yet people are living in misery. In other countries that doesn't have any of these natural resources that are not blessed as much as this, they pay their disabled their allowances. They give them their, they, this one is not even, they don't even need to go and walk. Government takes care of them. But in this country, it is your government that adds to their misery and pain. You can imagine that. That is why you must be part of the revolution to take your lives back, to demand justice for yourself and that of your children and those yet unborn. November 20 is the day do not miss it. Help me share this message that Nigerians must gather to free themselves from the shackles of wicked governance and install good governance because that is my commitment. The Archbishop for Good Governance, the Advocate for Good Governance is admonishing you. Do not be afraid because fear is the greatest enemy of man. You are afraid of the security operatives who will be given the command to go and mutilate, to go and harass, to go and arrest unarmed Nigerian protesters for good governance. Yet, insecurity is the order of the day. The same security operatives are being killed by ragtag criminals across Nigeria because they are not properly motivated. They can't give in a fight they are thinking of their next meal, their children, how they are going to survive. They are completely demoralized by the bad government. So they are direct victims of bad governance. Why should you be afraid? Are you security operative? Why should you take order to go and kill? Is that part of your constitutional um, engagement in your work? Is that part of your work? To go and intimidate Nigerians? No. Say no to whoever gives you such command to go and harass Nigerian people when they protest. Bad governance. Because you are also a victim of bad governance. You swore an oath to protect Nigerians and not to kill or intimidate them. Anything other than this is an order against your constitution. And you have right to say no to such orders. It is time for Nigerian people to overcome their fears. It is time for you to team up and embrace this message from this platform. Good governance, GGM, is the way to go. And until Nigerians gather together and say enough is enough, there will be nothing. Tell me what have you benefited from this country? Nothing. As a Nigerian, what will you say Nigeria has contributed meaningfully to your life? Tell me. Then how do you expect people to, you know, give their best for this country? People are just trying to survive. But it is time for Nigerians to live above survival. Because none of us is actually surviving, especially under this government of impunity. It is time for you to demand enough is enough. It is time for you to demand good governance. Go out there. Shouting on the internet and screaming on the social media platform will not change anything if we do not put action into this and that action must happen as we wait for the supreme court to give the supreme judgment and cement the fate of this country it is up to you to take your decision i'm also Jonathan peters keep watching and we'll keep bringing you more voice from the street bye bye for now